lot of things that, that Dave and I found when we were at other schools um, was that it's really easy to teach you guys how to push buttons or how to use a program or how to you know, understand logic and frequencies, but it doesn't really matter if you're not creative. And it's not going to matter if you don't have any ideas. So this class is going to be dedicated to um, helping you guys come up, be more creative, basically. And, uh, and understanding things. It, creativity is very much psychological, as everything else in life is. And you can easily trick yourself out into not being creative. Um, the, the first fundamental thing for everyone to understand is that everybody is creative. I mean, everything that we do is creative. Um, whether it's, you know, the, the shoes you guys chose to wear, the clothes you choose to wear, the car you, cho you choose to drive, the friends you, sh you choose to hang out with, those are choices. And every time you're making a choice, you're creating something. Okay, so uh, that's a very fundamental level, but a lot of people who get into music start at wondering, um, maybe I'm not cut out for it, maybe I don't know how to do this, maybe I'm ju I should just be a fan or whatever or whatnot, and it's bullshit. Everybody is creative. The difference between people who make a living doing it and the people who, um, you know, stop is that they let fear get in the way. So, lesson one, you guys write this down, is every decision is fear-based. Okay, so it's some very important to understand that fear has a major factor in every decision that you guys make. Um, now, some people can get away from it more often than not, and, and, and kind of you know make it a little bit more, a little bit less into their their train of thought. But it happens. Let me give you an example. If you're um, if you're coming down, if you're if you're making a baseline for your track, right? Now, what a very creative person does, and someone who's tapped into their creativity, they just do what they feel. There's ways for you to, to tap into your subconscious, which is how you want to create. You guys want to create subconsciously. If you're dictating where your art's gonna go, if you're if you're if you're telling yourself this is what the song's gonna sound like, you've already fucked yourself. Because you have you we we're good we're good at this, but if we allow our nature to take over, it's far better. Have you guys ever heard a track and, and thought to yourself, I wish I made that track? I mean, can I see? So, show of hands of who's ever thought that, right? I mean, that's that's the that's the feeling, right? You're bump, you're in your car, and you hear a track, and you're like, dude, that speaks exactly to me. I could be my song right there. I, I could have wrote that song. That's that's the best feeling in the world. It's probably the reason why you guys are here, because you want that feeling for yourself, right? But if you create so in your in your mind, you won't ever get that feeling, because you have methodically made each specific trace. You know the path of how this was created. The whole reason we created Icon was for people, to, as many people as we can, have two feelings. One is to wake up in the morning and make a living doing what you love to do. We've all talked about that when you guys were coming into school. It's very feasible now to do it. Secondly, I want you to have the feeling that I get all the time when I'm bumping my shit in my car and I'm thinking, who fucking made that? That is awesome. That's the shit. And then you realize that you made it. You know what I mean? That's the feeling. That's when you're like, okay, we're on to something. And that's the highest high. That's when you're, you're doing it, and you have, to, you have to tap into that. You have to understand how to do that. So, um, so going back to the baseline thing, if you guys are creating a baseline, um, a very creative person is going to put themselves in a zone and just find three or four notes and just rock it and just do it. But what a lot of people do when they get started, which is where you guys are at, you're going to think, are these the right notes? Are these, is, is, is this cheesy? Is someone going to think this is cool? Do I not want to show anybody this? Those are all fear-based questions. That has nothing to do with making your stuff. That has nothing to do with what you, as an artist, so, so here we're trying to promote art. We're not trying to promote Britney Spears. We're not trying to promote that kind. We're trying to promote artists. Which, what does that mean to anybody? What does that mean to you, Brett? If I say there's a difference between being a musician and being an artist, what would the main fundamental difference be for you? It's like promoting creativity. Well, mm -hmm. an artist expresses what they feel. And a musician creates, you know, an artist is a musician, but like a, like a puff daddy creates what he thinks you want to hear. So right out the gates, there's a fundamental, there's two different differences that, that come to every single musician, right? You either are going to create what you hear, or what you think people want to hear, or you're going to create what you feel. So you are choosing at that point what path you're going to go on. And they're two completely different paths. So um, now, if you want to create music that affects people, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to make what you feel. Because the whole point of what affects people is that you are you're aligning yourself emotionally with these people that you understand how they feel. So, art is a reflection of life. So if art is a reflection of life, then it has to do with an individual. So no one can tell me that my eye color is wrong because it just is, right? 
You can't tell me it's wrong. You cannot like my brown eyes. You cannot, you cannot like the way that they sit into my skull, but they can't be wrong. It's the exact same thing with your art. It can't be wrong. And there's so much freedom that you guys will lift off your shoulders if you understand that. It can't be wrong. It just is. So now when you're making music and you're doing things, you can go, man, I don't know, this is what I feel right now. Uh, here's the thing you need to embrace. This is where I'm at now. you got to say that to yourself, especially when you're in school. This is where I'm at now. Not, this isn't the hit I thought I was going to make. This isn't, the, this isn't the, the record I thought I was going to do. You're never going to be there, guys. If, 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 you, if, if you are truly an artist, the last song you make, we had this discussion, last song you make, you're already over it. If you're not over it, then you're regurgitating the same thing. You're not an artist. You're just trying to sell records. And that's not what we're promoting here. And I'll tell you why. Because people sniff that out and you won't sell records anyways. It's like Zen. I don't know how many people know about Zen philosophy, but there's a saying, right? The more you push for something, the more you push it away. That's Zen philosophy, right? What you're supposed to do is stand in one place and attract it. Again, it's two different fundamental philosophies. You can go chasing something, or you can stand in one place and attract it. And if you are chasing success through record sales and, and selling your stuff, you, you, chances are you're going to get it. Because your whole approach is going to be polluted with the wrong intentions, and it'll come across. People aren't going to be able to specifically say that, oh, this person made that. No, but it's just a fundamental thing. It's a subconscious thing. Man, this affects me, and I don't know why. And that's what you want to have. That's what you want. That's when you move people. So when you're not worried about selling records, you'll sell more records. Because your shit's going to be more potent. And it's going to affect people more. Does that, does that make sense? It's really big. Really big. The less you care about selling records, the more you'll sell it. The less you care about making a hit, the more of a hit you'll make. Because you, because you are not going to trip yourself out mentally about it. The thing that I've done is a decision. And it can be a fear-based decision, or it can be a, hey, this is what represents me decision. Unfortunately, 90% of society use it for fear-based. You know, if I dress down, no one will look at me. But really, inside, they want to fucking have a purple mohawk. You know what I'm saying? But they're afraid of what people might think. So, if you're talking about your music, if you really want to have a purple mohawk, metaphorically, to your music, but you're making dress-down shit because you're afraid of what people would think, you're never going to tap into what you want to do. 